Hello, dear students, and welcome back. My name is Eileen, and today we will be talking about makeovers. In this lesson, you will be researching the internet, you will be expressing regrets for the things you did or you didn't do, and you will be writing an essay on advantages and disadvantages of beauty surgeries. For this lesson, you need a pen or a pencil, a notebook, internet access, and you can stop the recording anytime you need. So let's start. There is no exquisite beauty without some strangeness in proportion. Those were the words of Edgar Allan Poe, and we all claim that he was right. But why do we then seek the opposite? Throughout history, people followed trends in beauty, trying to be as perfect as they could. What is it that makes us want to be the same as our idols, rather than unique? And what is true beauty, when we know that trends have changed a lot since ancient times? To which extent they have changed, we can see best by doing the following quiz. Here comes our beauty quiz. Are you ready? The first question. In ancient Greece, the most sought after hair color was blonde, black or ginger? And the correct answer is blonde. In ancient Greece, the most desired hair color was blonde because Greeks are naturally dark and blonde hair was rare. In ancient Japan, a woman's beauty was measured by the whiteness of her teeth, the length of her hair, or the color of her skin. The correct answer is the length of her hair. The most beautiful woman was the one who had at least two feet longer hair than her waist. In the Middle Ages, having a tan was considered to be a serious beauty fault. In order to have white complexion, women ate wax, clay or flour. And the correct answer is clay. They ate clay and they put a mixture of clay, wax and white lead on their face. The word blush was used first by Charles Dickens, Oscar Wilde or William Shakespeare. The correct answer is William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was the first to use the word blush as the meaning for reddening of the face. Here comes question number five. Ancient Egyptians used perfume for treatment of some illnesses, for looking more attractive, or in cooking. The correct answer is treatment of some illnesses. They used it both for cosmetic and medical purposes, believing it could cure lung, intestine, and even liver problems. The word perfume is from Latin origin, and it was used in burials to keep mosquitoes away or to attract attention. The correct answer is in burials. Perfumes were invented for the purpose of burials. Flowers were thrown into the fire to cover the bad smell of burnt skin and hair. It actually means per fumum, through smoke. During the French Revolution, men wearing lipstick were considered to be homosexuals, members of aristocracy, or educated? And the correct answer is members of aristocracy. 
they were considered to be the members of aristocracy and thus in danger of being beheaded. Egyptians' status in society was, among other things, shown by wearing lipstick, blushing their cheek, or painting their nails. And the correct answer is painting their nails. It was the nails that they painted in ancient Egypt as symbol of their rank, the darker the color, the more important the person was. Tanned skin became popular in 1920s for the first time. Due to an accident of getting sunburned, due to a film in which a famous star had tanned complexion, due to a famous article in the newspapers. And the correct answer is due to an accident of getting sunburned. It was Coco Chanel who, after getting sunburned, acquired nice dark tan and her fans copied her. The way of showing off your wealth in Elizabethan England was to have black teeth, red lipstick or long hair. Believe it or not, the correct answer is black teeth. It was black teeth that were popular and a symbol of wealth. Some women even blackened their teeth to show off. The reason for that was the fact that sugar was a luxury and only the rich could afford it. The Greeks considered brows joined together as the sign of beauty, high birth or intelligence? The correct answer is intelligence. Tweezers were not popular in ancient Greece. Actually, people even joined separated brows to appear more intelligent. And the last question. In 1700, the latest, latest craze was putting on artificial hair, lashes, or moles? And the correct answer is moles. During the 1700s, beauty moles were so popular that they came in stick-on format and in different shapes, from stars to horses, carriages, and even animals. Well done with the quiz, and now it is the time to relax a little bit, so lean back in your chair and watch a very short film about makeovers. The summer is over and it is the time to go back to school. But you have gained some weight and your skin may not be spotless either. Some other body parts may just as well need some improvement. What you need is a nice and total makeover. 
your mom disagrees and tells you that the beauty is in the eye of the beholder but you don't trust her what does she know it's been ages since she was a teenager and in her time things were different or were they what you're going to read are extracts from a teenage magazine from the 70s let's check it out dear jane i wish i was thinner i have always been plump because i really like good food i enjoy eating different food most of all chocolate cakes but because of that i am chubby and i feel as fat as a beach whale I wish my mother hadn't fed me so well when I was a child and I wish I could easily lose some weight, but it doesn't happen. So, I am thinking of having a makeover. Not the total one, there are certain things I like about my body, like my bosom. But I wish my tummy was flatter and my legs thinner. Should I have my fat lipo sucked? Mary. Dear Jen, you may call me vertically challenged if you put it nicely. Or just short. I wish I were taller at least a few inches. Then everybody would notice me. But what can I do about my problem? I cannot have my legs lengthened or my neck elongated like they did in some African tribes. What should I do? I wish some potion had been invented that would make me grow taller. John. Dear Jane, I have a problem with my pimples. They are all over my face. Should I have them removed in some way? I have heard that there are some creams that can help. I wish my tan was better and I know that I got some of my pimples from lying for hours in the sun and some from eating spicy food. I wish I hadn't exposed my face to the sun so much and I wish I hadn't eaten all those sausages. What should I do? I know all boys want to look great after summer holidays. All I want is a pimple-free face. Please help me, Brian. What we have just heard were the problems of the teenagers back in the 70s. And as you have seen, they haven't changed much. Mary wishes she was thinner and had not been fed so much when she was a child. John wishes he was taller, Brian wishes his pimples would go away, and his face was pimple-free. What do you wish? Now, please stop this recording and write a list of at least five items you wish were different or had been done differently regarding your appearance and habits. Start with, I wish. Now, stop the recording and do the task. Your answers may be, for example, I wish I hadn't eaten so much this summer, or I wish I had spotless skin. I wish I had spent more time in the sun so I would be more thinned. I wish I hadn't sunbathed so much so my hair would not be so dry. I wish I had practiced more. I wish I was taller. And when we wish you to express wishes or regrets, uh, if we want the situation in the present to be different, we use past tense or past continuous with wish. Like, I wish I had spotless skin, but I don't. If we want the situation in the past to be different, we use wish plus past perfect. I wish I hadn't eaten so much, but I did. Let's practice now. Copy this link and in learning apps, there is a nice exercise just waiting for you to do it. If you are unhappy with the way you look, you can have some things done in order to improve it. For example, you can have your lips enlarged, which I don't suggest you do. You can have your eyes widened. Ooh, that would be painful. You can have your hair bleached, colored, cut, stretched. 
you can have your nose shortened, you can have your stomach liposucked, you can have your eyebrows plucked, you can have your teeth whitened. If you arrange for somebody to do things for you, you use causative have to have something done. I'm having my lips enlarged. I'm not going to do it myself, but I will arrange for someone to do it. I had my eyebrows plucked. Somebody else plucked them. He will have his teeth whitened. He'll probably go to the dentist and the dentist will whiten his teeth. So when we arrange for someone to do something for us, we use this construction, have plus object plus past participle. Let's practice again. Copy this link and again in learning apps, practice using causative have. People have all sorts of things changed on them. But do we really need to go undergo all these painful treatments in order to look better? Here is um, an interesting chart that I would like you to copy in your notebooks. So stop the recording and copy it as it is shown here. We are now going to watch a short video under this link that you can see here. While you are watching, Write down the advice or suggestion that these celebrities mention. And after watching the video, search the net for the surgeries that these celebrities did. Two of them, as far as I have found out, have not undergone any surgeries. But all the others have already had surgeries, so write down which ones those were. So stop this recording now and watch the short video. And this is what I found when I searched the net. Marilyn Monroe said, you are beautiful, society is ugly. And she had her nose and chin changed. Emma Stone said, eat as much as you like, indulge yourself. It was her nose and eyelids and lips that she had changed. Sophia Loren said beauty is not physical. And I could not find any surgeries that she had. Bobby Brown said confidence is what makes you beautiful. No surgeries with her either. Adele said thin girls are not attractive. She had her nose changed. Christina Aguilera said, be proud of your body. And she had weight loss surgery, breasts and facelift. Audrey Hepburn said, be passionate. Beauty is in your soul. And yet she had her eyelids lifted. You see how hypocritical these celebrities are since most of them say one thing and do the other. What is your opinion? Should people undergo plastic surgeries in order to look younger and more beautiful? Is the inner beauty more important? You should write an essay on the pros and cons of radical makeovers, those involving surgeries. Your essay should be 200 words long and express both points of view in the end, conclude by expressing your own opinion. This evaluation rubric may help you evaluate your homework. And if there are those of you who want to watch a little bit more, there is an interesting video uh, shot by one boy. It's called Dear Insecure Girl. Um, in that video, you will see how beauty really is a matter of taste. And we are almost at the end of this lesson. If you have done the quiz, express your wishes. If you have completed the exercises in learning apps, watch the video and search the net for answers and written the essay, 
you know the routine. You just have to take the smiling smiley. If you haven't done some, something, you should go back to the part that you haven't done and do it again. I hope that you enjoyed watching this lesson. See you next time. Bye bye.